Okay, so this is my little autumn haul before we start decorating. So I thought I'd show you some of the old bits I've already got and some of the new bits I've picked up. I picked up quite a few new bits this year, so I really wanted to go through it with you. First of all, I got this towel from Asda George. It's the Stacey Solomon range, and it was like three pound for a hand towel. I just thought it was so nice, um, and it would just jazz up the bathroom, you know. I got me snuggly wax melt because I plan to get very cosy and have all the lovely scents going in a minute. Then I got this from Matalan, this fro. It's got little toadstools on. It absolutely sold me. Pumpkins and toadstools, my favourite. So again, a nice little new addition for the sofa. This is old. I got this from Home Bargains last year, two years ago maybe. But I got this new. This um, was £12 from Matalan, this tray. Again, for my footstool, just to do a little display on. I got this from Asda George, and it was £4 for some little plaques, and I just thought dotting them around in between pumpkins would be really cute. And I did get this pumpkin uh, from B&M, £2. It could go with my little cutesy setup. And then I got this um, this one from B&M, which was £4. I got this bad boy, which we've seen probably everywhere now, Um I got this from Home Bargains. It was only five ninety nine. I got this back when it was just first come out. I literally ordered it online. I just wanted it that bad. Um, then I've got oh, I just quickly show this. I got this this year as well from Home Bargains. That was three ninety nine or something, something silly. Um, but I got a new plaque. I've got another one of them. I think it says Hello Autumn somewhere, but I can't find it. So it's probably in the loft. So I'll have to find it and dot it around. I got this snuggle cushion, which I did get from B and M. I loved it so much. Uh, so that's going to go in the sofa as well. And behind all of that, I got a autumn wreath, which this is big and beautiful, and it's only eighteen pounds from Asda George. I've never seen one this big and bushy and nice. Bushy, you know what I mean. Uh, I've never seen one this decent basically for so cheap 18 pounds really good they're about 30 40 pound normally and so i really liked it so i've never actually had an autumn um wreath by the way i've got a christmas one and a halloween one but i don't have an autumn one with just pumpkins and stuff so i'm glad i purchased it, it took me all this time i mean am i even a youtuber like not being funny but this is my niche and i don't have one like how is that even possible then over here, are just a little collection of ones I already have. I've had this for years. I've got this from TK Maxx or HomeSense, whatever. And I've got this from HomeSense a couple a few years ago. I've got this one from Home Bargains. It's classic. You've seen it everywhere. Primark. I think this one's Primark. I think that's even from Primark. I can't remember. Um, this is probably from Primark. But they're a bit filthy, some of them, because they've been stored, like, you know, above my kitchen cupboards and stuff. I've got more in the loft, I think more stuff but I'm going to work with what I've got here at the moment until I can get Jonathan to go in the loft for me and I also got this um really nice autumn spice candle which has two wicks I got this from uh, home bargains as well when I got the basket these are my new additions and my old additions that I'm so excited to just dot around everywhere and just first of all I'm going to go and clean up give it a good clean around here put these out um and make it feel all cozy because the weather is matching that mood today <laughs> Okay, this was the first day Olivia went to nursery for the full day and I just cracked on. I literally wanted my whole house cleaned in a day. It wasn't going to happen and I had to be realistic. But you know what? I always start with deep cleaning my sofas. If I'm going to do a deep clean or if I just want a room to look better, my front room in particular, I start with my sofas because it motivates me to carry on. Do you have a job that you like to start with every single time and it motivates you to do the next thing or whatever? I just love my sofas. I think it's because... I love how they turn out, how clean they do look, and it gives me that motivation to carry on. So yeah, there's always that. Also, like I say, she was in nursery for the first day on this day, and I forgot to clean my uh, photo frames before I hoovered. So I just quickly did it and then hoovered up after again. 
because again I wasn't I always say when you do a deep clean you should start from the top work your way down so any cobwebs and all that and the ceiling that type of thing do all of that work it all down because all the dust is going to come down onto the floor and the sofas and things like that and then the sides you should always do that but because I think I'm just getting used to my routine of having her in nursery for a couple of days a week so I was a bit like trying to get it all done literally really quick but like do you know what I mean like I was really trying to do everything I was trying to I was basically giving myself an unrealistic list of things to do in a day. Um, so then I just swallowed it back a bit and was like, no, come on, come on now. You can get this done without it being, you know, all over the place. It was a bit chaotic the first day she went to nursery because I was also worried because I didn't know whether she was going to last the full day. So I think I was just trying to get it done and all of that. But yeah, I just wanted to give my sofa a deep clean. As, as you were looking at now, you were probably seeing that I'm not using my spot wash, or you'll see in a second it's not my spot wash. It is actually the Vax Smart Wash Carpet Cleaner. I am doing a little bit more of an in-depth talk about this, or I will be using it more, should I say, in my next cleaning video, because I'm going to be doing carpets and all that with um, with it. But I did get this gifted to me and sent out by Vax. So thank you very much to Vax for sending it out to me. It's working wonders on my sofa, and having the longer hose has really helped me with this, actually. It's really, really good. I've been testing it out, like I said, and I'm going to be using it in my next video to be able to show you exactly how the Vax Smart Wash Carpet Cleaner actually works on carpets and all of that good stuff. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright. Like a ricochet, it will come back to you. Cause I don't care about you anymore. So you can't hurt me like you did before. Let me tell you. mess that I am the autumn clean is real I just wanted to quickly show you a couple of things that Shein actually sent out to me um it's cushion covers they are beautiful I can see them already and I'm planning to put them on this sofa so I thought I'd show you before I do so first of all I've got this one 
which how amazing is that how beautiful is that look at that so it's obviously like a very neutral um pumpkin so i'm very happy with that so that's going to look absolutely lovely and i've got this one which i actually got two of so it's very similar to that but it's a different type of design it's like that got loads of little neutral pumpkins on which i absolutely love so and obviously like 3d and stuff so yeah this is going to look amazing on this sofa these cushions i don't know which ones i'm going to put because i think i might put some they might not all go on the cushion uh, on the sofa basically but we're going to play around now and have a little look but i also got this one to brighten it up a bit how nice is that this has got to be my favorite one look how orange the pumpkins are i love it so yeah so i've got these cushion covers from Shein. So thanks for Shein to, for sending them out to me. I'm going to put them on a cushion now and see what they look like on the sofa. Let's go. If you're to hurt me, my skin's thicker each day. Gonna hurry for a sleep at night. Knowing that your words are hurtful, it's just not right. Not right. Not because my eyes are open, your words will keep bouncing away. Like a ricochet. We're setting the scene. We've got a pumpkin autumn scene going on the telly. By the way, this wall is really annoying me. This wall where my TV is. As we know, I was meant to do a media wall. Obviously, I got quite ill and it never materialised. But I, it's making it look like I'm moving. Do you see that too? Do you see that this wall looks like I'm literally moving? I was so glad that it was a new season that I had to decorate for, like putting pumpkins on my TV unit. Because I think also since having Olivia... Um, that's also been a problem, you know, because I've had to move every vase in that way. So I've had, to, I literally look like I'm moving everywhere in my house. But um, I was so glad to decorate it just to, because she's going to be older now. So she, um, she doesn't really touch anything as much, but she still a little bit does. But, you know, we're good with that. But yeah, um, just making it nice and cosy in my living room for autumn. Yeah. Right, I'm cleaning on top of my kitchen cupboards. Literally cannot believe how much time I have had with Olivia being at nursery for one day and how much I've got done. Can you even cope with how much a toddler takes up your life? I have not cleaned above my cupboards for two years. I'm not even joking. I've not touched them. And by the way, not judging if you haven't touched them any longer than that, because a lot of people do just miss them. It's only because I used to do a cleaning job, and this is what we had to do. We had to clean above uh, kitchen cupboards, things like that. So I'm kind of used to it in my spring cleans and all of that. But let me tell you, I haven't even touched it for I don't know how long. It was disgusting, full of dust, full of grease, a bit of mixture. It was bad. I had did store my pumpkins up there. They were a mess. It was just a mess. So I thought, you know what? Just these are the jobs I can't get done when Olivia is around. So when she's at nursery, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tackle the jobs that I either hate cleaning or forget to clean. And this is one of them big ones that I do forget to clean. Like, let me know in the comments what's the biggest job or what are the jobs around your house that you like forget to clean or you just really don't like cleaning so you avoid it at all costs because yeah something like above the kitchen cupboards is like one of mine one of my top five i think in fact it's probably my number one
When I was cleaning my kitchen, I wanted to tackle things like this because in a kitchen, when and anywhere in your house really, but in a kitchen, I'm just going to talk about grease for a second. So in a kitchen, like the smells that you get from cooking and all that, it doesn't just come from like the oven, it will come from things like your vents, it will come from things like above on top of your cupboards, you know, all the grease that, the cooking smells that are like attached to, you know, walls and stuff. That's what a kitchen reminds me of, it just attaches everywhere and it's really hard to eliminate like certain smells now me personally as you all know if you are not new i really like have to have my house smelling nice and recently it's been spending all right but i'll be honest i can smell a cooking smell sometimes and i'm like nope i need to clean i need to deep clean so that's why look for anywhere that grease will attach itself to and clean it because that is a major top tip for me not that you didn't already know you probably knew that already obviously but what i'm trying to say is like if you really want your kitchen to smell nice you really just have to basically get you know roll your sleeves up get in there get in all the grease and one thing you're going to see in a minute is me doing the blinds and i'm going to tell you now the one blind near the cooker the ne your nearest blind near the cooker needs a good clean all the time again another thing that i have not cleaned and i'm not joking you when i tell you for about two years because it's been like one of them things that i've just gone oh don't worry about it don't worry about it but you know what when i started cleaning it it was disgusting like disgusting so yeah it had grease on it and everything it was just oh but it's fine i've done it now so we're all good you know and do you know what it's made my mood so much better just knowing like the little jobs that i don't do I might clean up every day and wipe around the sides and tidy up because that's pretty much all I have time for is washing, tidying up and like the very, you know, like the main things like tidying aside, cleaning aside, the essentials basically, cleaning your toilet. They're the things that I can get done and have been doing basically two years. But anything like cleaning the blinds or above your kitchen cupboards or all your kitchen cupboards at all, nah, I haven't done it. But so if that's you as well, don't worry about it. You're not alone. But I'm just going to tell you that it will make you feel better if you did if you do get a chance to do it then maybe do one at a time because it does make a difference to like the smell of your house you know so and i love a nice scent that's why i like candles and all of that but it's only so much candles can do for a scent like for a smell do you know what i mean like once the candle goes out it'll just smell the same again so i like a really fresh just clean smell in my house and um, so that's what i'm aiming for <laughs> Okay, there is literally one major thing that I do when I really want to clean and like do without realising I'm cleaning. So hear me out. So basically get your AirPods in. You need your AirPods in and you need your music or your podcast or all of that. I prefer music, but sometimes I put on a YouTube vlog or whatever and I have it on in the background. Um, it don't have to be in your earpods it could be or airpods it can be just in the background sitting there that's how i i actually cook like that i cook with a youtube video on i can't cook this is crazy to say but i can't cook without having someone in the background and another thing is or like basically if you don't not going to have music or anything like that you can talk to someone on the phone if someone's available or while someone is having a phone call with you get up and start cleaning i do it all the time like to get a job done, sometimes I just need to be chatting to someone in my ear, um, on the AirPods, on my phone, and they're chatting about something totally different, and I don't even realise that I'm proper cleaning. Does that make any sense? Like, it literally is. It's not a distraction, so don't let it be a distraction as well. Don't let a phone call be a distraction. Get up and do things while you're on the phone. Um, but it actually makes me feel like I'm not cleaning. I can't even explain it, but basically what I'm trying to say is this right there, here and right now, I was on the phone to my sister for an hour <laughs> and I was doing all this cleaning and I look and I think oh I remember that conversation yeah we was having a good old conversation look what I'm doing whilst I'm having that conversation
this is the blind or, that came from hell you can't see and i wish i showed closer but you know what i was on a running up like i had like a time limit to do this blind in because i had to go and get olivia from nursery obviously i had to finish the kitchen but can i tell you it took a lot of soap and water and grease i use i used the elbow grease a little bit but main the main thing i basically just used i use, i just got washing up liquid and i just poured it on my wet sponge and scrubbed away that was the best way to get up the grease to be honest and that's what i say you can use the elbow grease and washing up liquid if if elbow grease is not good on its own or if washing up liquid's not enough on its own i always say mix them as in like spray and then use washing up liquid it does help especially for vents and stuff you see me clean my vent earlier um if you want to get it off quicker that's that's the biggest tip i've got for you but yeah just to clean this blind was an achievement if i only got this done on that day i would have been well happy um, but yeah, I'm so happy that it was done because I'm telling you, it was disgusting. Can we just take a minute to appreciate what you're going to see in a second when you see the afterwards of my kitchen my kitchen has not looked like that 
since before I had Olivia. I've never in one day managed to get it like that. I mean, I'm thinking back to videos during the last two years. I can't see that I've actually made it. It literally looks like back when I used to be on top of my game and I used to really be on top of my stuff and, and my life was sorted out. <laughs> This is, this is like a very rare sight to see. And this was day one of her being a nursery. She had, goes for two and a half days a week. Can you imagine all the things that I can do? You know what I mean? Like toddlers really do take your time up. But yeah, I just wanted to add my little basket to the front room and finish that off. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Here's the afterwards. It's lovely and fresh. I'm so happy with how it all turned out. I was happy with what I achieved today. Whatever you can manage to achieve in your jobs that you get done, give yourself a big thumbs up because to be honest with you and a pat on the back, because to be honest with you, life's hard and just take care of yourself and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. All in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let